hey guys uh, welcome back to the second part for this uh, tutorial uh, as you can see this is uh, the effect that we are aiming for here so the car going in and crashing here it's a uh, good looking crash I think uh, but uh, you guys can uh, uh, once you know the technique and everything uh, you can uh, use it and make it look better uh, this video is a little bit longer because I didn't do it do this effect uh, like probably this is my first time doing this effect too uh, on cars so that's so probably you see me doing a lot of mistakes here and there and I hope you guys excuse me for it so but uh, basically this is the this is it the car effects here and you can show you how to like break the glasses like it took like a second to break all these glasses and do that simulation with ray fire really didn't take that long uh, at the end so basically it's like a bonus so if you guys, uh, as usual, if you like it, comment, subscribe, and uh, if you got any question or any problem, uh, just uh, uh, post a comment here. And uh, I opened the Facebook page, and that's where you guys, if you want, uh, if you want some kind of effect to be done and you don't know how to do it, I uh, urge you to go to the Facebook page and. Uh, drop by just to visit it and uh, like it too like it and share it and uh, what, uh, and post a comment there of what effects you guys need uh, to do and uh, I'll be more, more happy to uh, to tell you why like uh, this uh, car effect here it's uh, uh, it's a request from uh, one of the subscribers and I told him I would do it and uh, I did it for him so as usual just uh, like comment subscribe and uh, spread the word thank you Okay guys, uh, welcome back, we're gonna just uh, finish where we left off uh, The viewport looks a little bit lighter maybe in the video That's because I just changed the uh, gamma to 2.2 in the viewport That's why it's a little bit lighter So, we're gonna finish uh, So where we left off, we rigged the car And that's what happened One thing that I want, I want uh, the front of the car here this from the and you need it to fall off when it hits the wall. So uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hide my. I'm gonna create a box. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna unhide my. And unhide my uh, mass effects geometry here. I'm gonna make it uh, the active layer. And I'm gonna create another part here. Just a box. Make sure I affect the uh, pivot only. Affect pivot only. Uh, center to object. Uh, w. And uh, align it to this uh, to the body here. Left Z. I'm gonna push it back. Left. Okay. I'm gonna hide my uh, the car body here. Always hit hit that uh, wrong button. So I'm gonna go to the car body, hide it. Next, I'm gonna freeze the transformers on it, and uh, I'm gonna constrain it to this uh, to the car body here. <coughs> I'm gonna turn it to a dynamic rig body. Next, I'm gonna just select the rigging constraint and select the parent as this one here. Make sure uh, keep our uh, constraint selected, and I'm gonna add it to the constraint cons concentrate later uh, layer. I'm gonna add it to it. Okay. I'm gonna unhide them though because I'm gonna change it. Wow, what a big mess! I'm gonna ch just fix those. I think it was 14 the last time that we did those. For some reason, they scaled up. I think because they kept opening and saving this file over and over. I'm 
and let's pause the video when I fix those and be back okay I'm back I'm gonna get on the respective viewport here and I'm hide my collision now I'm gonna simulate it alright it's working fine what I need to do I need to break it so I'm gonna select this constraint here and um, uh, under advanced I'm gonna put breakable I'm gonna put the, up the max force to like 1000 and see what you're gonna get I usually put the max on the torque the same so let's play it and see if it's gonna break yep it did break I'm gonna go back to the shaded viewport here And that's what I want. So I'm gonna unhide my car here. Now the car body. Right the left viewport. And I'm gonna select a uh, couple of uh, pieces of the car here. Go to the element, select uh, the bottom of the car, and detach it. I uh, assigned the uh, shortcut. When I assign Control Shift D, uh, actually it's not gonna work here because this shortcut it seems that I get assigned to this uh, video capture here. So I'm gonna just go to Detach and call it Point Fender, I guess that's the name. Okay, select it, turn it to a cloth. I think uh, it's in the constraint, the constraint. Make sure I'm in the, in the cloth layer. I'm gonna add it here. I'm gonna rename it as font cloth. I'm gonna put cloth at the end of it. I'm gonna link it to to this mess FX uh, geometry here. Make sure I affect the pivot only. Uh, I'm gonna center the pivot here. Okay. One more thing. I need to select my uh, car body again. Click five, and I'm gonna deselect these here and select these and these. Oh, the whole front basically. I'm gonna detach it. Like when you have like a high res car, you use a, you use a proxy geometry like that conforms to your uh, car, and you use that as a cloth. And after that, you apply skin wrap on, the, on top of your higher uh, high res geometry. But in our case here, the car it's really low res, so there's no reason for us to uh, remodel another uh, another piece. While well, we can just use use the car itself. Because as you can see, it's already not that high of a res to begin with. Uh, so next, what I'm gonna use to actually, I'm gonna go back because I forget to uh, select this one here. Actually, four. Select actually five and select this one here and detached. the element all right no, not the element just the object and click ok and after that we're gonna select it and uh, I'm gonna add it to the cloth here to the cloth layer next I'm gonna select my uh, the, uh, the front uh, glass here uh, they call it the front light go to element Select this one and this one. Select this 
and detach them too. So we have lights. Okay. I'm gonna add them in a separate layer here. I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna cancel this second. Make sure I select them. And I'm gonna call it headlights. Okay. Now we got the uh, this here. I'm gonna make sure it's uh, linked to the car body too, and the lights too are linked to the car body. I'm gonna hide my uh, G Max uh, Mass Effect geometry. I'm gonna hide my uh, constraint too. I'm gonna hide my tires. And what else? I deleted that grill. I, uh, by mistake and I couldn't get it back so that's why I have just this uh, geometry up front and this gonna um, use it as a cloth uh, as a cloth too here so okay, I'm gonna up, uh, attach it to this one here so I'm gonna attach this one to this one okay next what I want to do mm, we got all our cloth objects Next, I need to apply uh, added some collision object here. I need to add another collision object in the middle here, so when the car crashes, it's not gonna uh, the tire will stay in its way. So make sure I'm in the collision layer. Create cylinder here. Gonna uh, align it. I make sure uh, it's. I don't need to affect the pivot only. Alright. To the top and just move it over here. Make sure it covers both uh, tires. Okay. And now uh, affect the pivot only. I'm gonna center it. And I'm gonna link it to the car. Let's select this car here. Okay. Four. I think there is like someone wanted geometry just floating in the air here, so I'm gonna select these. And this is delete them. This two here, control shift B. Uh, no, actually, I click this one, detach. Okay, I'm gonna select this one and attach this two here. Okay, now I think our car, the car is uh, ready for simulation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide what I don't need. I don't need the car body, I don't need the tires, I don't need the headlights, I don't need the light, I don't need those shapes. This one here, Control V. I'm gonna copy it. Okay, I'm gonna add it to the collisions, and uh, I'm gonna delete the mass effects, rigid body from it. I'm gonna select uh, the original one, and I'm gonna add it to the mass effects geo. I'm gonna add it here. there. Okay. Now we 
got this one here. We got the wall. Select my uh, geometries here. I'm gonna apply collection uh, color cloth modifier to them. Go to object property here. Add the object. I'm gonna select the three collision uh, objects here. I'm gonna add them. And the ground and the wall. I'm going to be collision objects and the tires are going to be collision object. The difference here I'm going to lower down the offset of the collision uh, of the tires uh, offset. And now I'm going to 0.3 because they're, well, 0.5 because they are kind of pretty close to the metal here. So make sure that uh, they are set correctly. Okay. Get uh, these two here where they're going to be the cloth. Uh, I'm gonna load the. Uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm gonna load the preset called the metal preset. That's one of the presets that I found uh, from uh, uh, Joe Gunn. Uh, uh, you can go to uh, his website and uh, actually, where was it? Where did they? Where did they found it? I think it was like a master class bot cloth in the area. So you, can, you guys can go down there and uh, he would. Uh, explain about it so I'm gonna load it uh, it's this one here and it's already set uh, to use the the car uh, the karma uh, the attribute for it they will uh, act as metal I'm gonna select uh, and click OK next what I'm gonna set up a couple of groups here I'm gonna select everything. Although I'm just gonna select just one object because it seems like I can't use that. Uh, one more thing. This is our. Oh, we didn't make our animation, so I'm gonna just uh, make our animation very quick. Make all. Okay. That's what we get. Since this is going to be the uh, acting as a cloth here, let me make sure it inter intersect with our geometry. So I'm going to put it right up here. So maybe a little here. mean the, the cloth it's not going to be acting as cloth it's going to just maintain its shape and maintain its animation and we don't want that we want to turn off this group when it uh, gets close to the wall so let's say about frame 29 let's see 29 30 yeah 29 by frame 29 now this uh, group will go off to turns off and uh, the cloth gonna take in. 
Next, I'm gonna select. I'm gonna just uh, rename it. Rename the group so you wouldn't get confused. Select uh, all the vertices, make group and call it a hood uh, solid group because we're gonna uh, make sure it's turned off too. Do you wanna stay the uh, turns off by when you get here? So I'm gonna uh, make sure I uh, assign and then assign it to a group first. It's preserved and turn it off when it gets here. So when you get here, the cloud is going to take over. I think I'm going to do it here at uh, frame 30. Next, I'm gonna go to the top. I'm gonna shift to the left here, and I still have the same selection here. I'm gonna select these, the front ones, and make group, make another group, and call this one here uh, hood. Uh, the other one was solid. This one is gonna be loose. Group okay, and this one is going to be uh, different, we're going to be off from the beginning. It's going to be off. Uh, let's make sure to preserve it too. Preserve it, it's going to be off from the beginning. And when it gets here, and uh, uh, when it gets here, I'm going to turn it back on. selected here and let's uh, use soft selection too not sure if use soft selection will make it work but we'll see might not work let's uh, let's play the annual uh, play and see what we got here and we simulate set this one here as my initial state and simulate okay I think it's working awesome so let's see what we got here I think uh, why the animation jumps because I have it start at frame 30 because I did the simulation from uh, the last uh, from when I was testing it and it seems like it stayed here at frame 30. Awesome. I I think I'm gonna add one more uh, collision object. I'm gonna add under the hood so one. Uh, it gets uh, collided with this uh, with this wall. It's gonna push the the hood up. So I'm gonna go back uh, the beginning here, to the left of it, actually to the top, and I select uh, this geometry here. I'm gonna copy it. Okay, I'm gonna delete the cloth from it. Left. And I got five. Select this one. Control invert, and delete the other ones. Now, go to the top. 
stop. Let's see. I'm gonna apply uh, an FFD modifier to it. Anyone just uh, the two one? Okay. One. W. I'm gonna move it back here. Second here, I'm gonna center to the object. W, I'm gonna move it up here. I'm gonna move it right here. And now I'm gonna rotate it up this way. So it's gonna push the cloth up. Next, I'm gonna. Let's say from frame 30. To 29 to 100. Okay. I'm gonna want to quadrify it. Or basically go to. I'm gonna just change the geometry very quickly. From optimize here, calculate. Let's say 50. Let's say 10. Okay, convert that to only add the shell to it and you can not turn it to a pony alright ok I'm gonna call this one here good collision Select uh, my car here under the object property. I'm going to select add object and add the hood collision here. Added. I'm going to make it as a collision object and lower the offset to 0.3 because it's very close to the hood. Click OK. I'm going to erase the simulation. Go back to the first frame. I'm gonna change the color of this one. You barely can see it. Okay. Now select one. Select any cloth object here, and click uh, simulate again. And see, that's the effect that I want here. It jumps to frame 30 because that's the, the frame that I wanted to start uh, the animation to. I'm gonna cancel it. And that's what I'm getting. Let me select this one here. I'm gonna add it to the, the collisions. for a second. Mm -hmm. Next what we're gonna do I'm gonna try to break it a little bit when it hits when it hits the wall. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select these go and I'm gonna erase simulation first and the groups I'm gonna Select these ver uh, these vertices here in the middle. And I'm gonna make them make tiers. Call it tier one. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna 
this simulation. I'm gonna just uh, reset the state. Reset the state here, and there is a simulation. For some reason it went way back there. Come on. Hopefully, when I hit simulate, it's gonna go back. Okay. Cancel this for a second. Set the initial state and a res simulation. Okay, so it goes back. Now reset state. I have no idea why Gemma is going way back up there. So I hope I'm gonna just start up uh, make an animation from frame zero here. So we start at the beginning. Big simulate. There you go. Cancel. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna set this. Move one frame, and I'm gonna set this one as initial state, and the reset state, and race simulation. Okay, now it's back where it should be. Next, instead of frame 30, let's do it. Let's go back to start frame at, let's say, frame 29. Okay. Give it more time to think. We need to uh, change. Oh, the subsample is already up to 6 here. Okay. So, I'm gonna close this mess of X here. And next, I think this is it. Now simulate it and see what you're gonna get. For some reason the other, the other one is not coming later. I'm gonna cancel. I'm gonna erase simulation. And why is that? Star frame 29. Okay. Raise simulation. Make sure that this one here has the same thing. I'm gonna raise simulation too. And I click simulate. Okay. And as you can see, it does. I'm not sure if it does break here. See if it's gonna if it's breaking. Nope, it's not breaking. So I'm gonna erase simulation again. Let me make this as uh, as a box so we can see through it here. Go to the groups. Like this one with the groups, and this one here is set as tiers. Make a tier. No, uh, let's set it to uh, soft selection. Okay, next, I'm gonna up the strength to 500. And um, I'm gonna select this one here too. Go to the groups, and I'm gonna select, let's say, some here and some here. And I'm gonna make them as tier 2. I'm gonna call it tier 2. Now, for some reason, every, every time we apply the tier, the object snaps out. So. I'm gonna just click your soft uh, selection. Go back to the plot. Let's go back all the way down to our first frame. 
I'm gonna click erase simulation and reset the state and this damn it this thing went back all the way back there too so I'm gonna simulate from snap frame zero again click simulate cancel it I'm gonna uh, set initial state and array, uh, reset state and erase simulation now it's back to work how it should be change this one here to star frame 29 and I'm gonna simulate should have get closer to see Oh, you know what? Why it's not breaking? I remember why. I'm gonna erase the simulation here very quick. Go under object property. Select our wall here and make it. Uh, uh, to make sure you check cut cloth. Click OK. okay. Now. Should just get a nice perspective and click simulate. Now it should, should break now. Yep, it's breaking. As you can see here, you see pieces and bits of the card coming off. Wait for it to simulate very quick. And I'm gonna cancel here and just see what I'm gonna hide this one here. Let's see what we got. See it's breaking right there. Now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move my wall here a little bit forward. I'm gonna raise simulation again. Look at the first one and simulate. is getting smushed big time against the wall now it couldn't calculate it so I'm gonna just push it back just a hair erase simulation and simulate again oh come on erase when I erase it again when I reset the state and simu simulate again hopefully it should be able to do it now no seems like too much so let's push it back a little more raise simulation reset state and simulate again <coughs> Again, good for the one. I'm gonna turn it back to a hundred. Check the groups again. Check 
the second one. Let's see. Let's make it pretty. Everything. Race simulation again. And simulate. Come on, break. Breaking. What's the deal? I'm gonna unhide my car body just to electrify everything. How it's looking. I'm gonna unhide my car body and I'm gonna unhide my tires. So far, that's how it looks. is really not bad. Okay. They got enough time playing with the cloth. You now you guys see how uh, cloth deforms and everything. You gotta play with the setting more to make it break and stuff like this. Uh, so I'm gonna just uh, show you one more thing how to break the uh, the glass very quick. Got the headlights, so I'm gonna go to the perspective viewport here. I'm gonna select my uh, glass and uh, the headlights, I'm gonna unhide them. I'm gonna use the right fire for that. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over here, select the right fire. I'm gonna add them. Uh, let's say Varanoi uniform and put 200. Let's put it and uh, change it to Pro uh, uniform. And hopefully it will work. I'm fragmented now. I did fragment that side. Some reason it's just fragmenting the other side. And let's delete it. I'm gonna see why is it. If I clip of it only, I'm gonna send it to object. Why is that? I'm gonna just change it to Vernoy. And fragment now. Okay. I'm gonna fragment it again to two. So give me more pieces. I'm gonna fragment it again. Okay. And the uh, object here. I'm gonna all of these are uh, glasses here. So and I wanna start my uh, animation at. Uh, Sub steps. Usually it comes at sub steps three, but I put that ten. Uh, and I want to start it at frame. I think thirty. Let's say thirty. Okay. And let's add this wall here. And it's already here. <laughs> and I think all of these are left from my uh, last uh, sim. The wall. So basically, add the wall, the ground. I'm gonna just clear all here. I'm gonna select uh, these. I'm gonna add them. Okay. And now under physics, all that you gotta do, really, and you just hit play. Go here and uh, say preview. The only problem with doing this is uh, the geometry is going through the wall. So we need to up uh, our 
our sub steps and sub steps a lot. Okay, I'm gonna stop. segment and the height here and the height the width and the height okay object I'm gonna delete this one and I add this and I need this physics let's say frame uh, 29 and preview better okay now that's what you get instead of three I'm gonna hit big here what you get here and that's our car crash mm -hmm. it's been a uh, it's kind of it was like kind of a long tutorial really so I hope you guys uh, learned a lot from it. I hope you uh, excuse me if I mess up here and there because I'm just uh, I'm learning at the same time when I'm recording this stuff. So that's why I mess up a lot. But um, uh, what would I say? You guys comment, subscribe, and if you guys like it as usual, if you get uh, anything you want, just uh, send me uh, an email or. Uh, comment and I'd be more than happy to help you guys. Thank you.